Hello there man, in this video I'm going to show you how to customize your weapons texture colors or the model itself. So basically you're going to need up two programs. The first one it's paint.net and CS1.6 model viewer for beginners. Like you can use Photoshop as well but uh, I personally use paint.net because I find it way more easier. You can use any photoshopping program you want. I'll leave these two links in description so you can download them. So basically when you have finished installing paint.net and CS1.6 model viewer the next step is you must go in paint.net's file location all right you just right click into it and you're going to click up on file location. So now it's going to lead you up to its original file location where paint.net is installed. So basically what are we going to do here, it's going to add some couple effects for the program. I'll leave the effects RAR folder in description as well, so you do not worry. Now you double click on the RAR folder, I mean file, sorry. So you're going to see some uh, couple of DLs files, right? And you're going to click up on effects and this is where you're going to add up every single thing. And of course you can do replace so the effects can be added now we're going to bring up the weapon which i'm going to customize right so yeah this is the weapon i have not made the weapon but i'm going to uh, customize the textures of it so yeah now in your weapon you might see more parts of the weapon like being split up like scope grip of it you name it you name it for my weapon i have only one so i'm going to make it very easy so the next thing to do is you must export the texture in your desktop and make sure the format of it it's only bmp now file name you can name it however you want but uh i just go with one because ah no man i just go with it now make sure you close it so it it does not crash like mine man because i don't know this this is an old program after all so what do you expect now what you're going to do is you're going to open up the paint.net program and we're going to start up the real deal in here now we're going to add it boom this is the texture that we exported from the model viewer basically now what we have added is some stuff in here including the color math which is very important so i'm going to tell you what color math actually does as well now we're going to click up on browse so basically what it does is it copies the original color of the gold bmp model and it extracts to the to your customized weapons I like model you know it only the color not the texture as you can see on where my cursor is this is the actual texture of the gold bmp all right and this is the texture of your customized weapon right now you can click on this okay and you can like save as and i'm going to save the bmp like in a specific other like name because i'm going to show you another thing which you can do as well so yeah make sure you save it bmp not other uh, photo format so you click on save and in here make sure you select 8 bit all right because with 32 and 24 it might not work correct man trust me and the others in here you can like copy them so you click up on ok and as you can see we have successfully customized the texture of it so not close up the program yet but this is one way how you can do it now we go up to the weapon we go up to the part of it and we're going to click up on import texture and now i'm going to export import the bmp file which which we customize um boom. this is how the weapon looks like it's not fully gold as you might see in this part but this is the best possible way you can do as a big model beginner you can say right so yeah this is how the weapon looks like when it's gold and of course my my model viewer crashes again now you can do this there is another way again like you might say you want to add custom photos to it right but remember you're a beginner so you, yeah, 
the way you might add the photos might not be very correctly that goes for me as well so now what we're going to do is going to add up a customized photo so we are going to click up on file open and uh, you're going to find up your custom photo man now i'm going to select the galaxy abstract this is a custom image which i found on google man so yeah i'm going to select up this right as you can see the folder in here it's not formatted bmp so now you you might click on it copy and you go on here you click paste like Control c and Control v easy and now you're going to do keep canvas size make sure you don't change it it will look like this but all you can do man is drag it up like this do it up like this and uh, boom like this is one thing that i do to some weapons but not to all but you can choose whatever picture or whatever screenshot or i don't know what you want man but uh remember man in cs 1.6 things might work a little bit weird so yeah now we're going to save this up again to bmp format make sure 8 bit and the other settings here and click ok boom we're done with the first part in here now we're going to go up to the model viewer all right then add the extracted texture which we edited for texture and boom this is how it looks like all right yeah it looks sick not going to lie but yeah this is one other thing and now there is uh, another way which i no so let, let's go with it now we're going to add up the bmp again now you might not want to add like a gold color on it or a custom image thingy you know what i'm saying but you might want to change the color to your own preference for example you go to hue and saturation of it of the programs and now you can mess up with it to your own personal slash favorite one I don't know, I'm just going here by random just to uh, show you and make sure you do not mess up with the lightness because if you do it might not work like on the model viewer so yeah you just you just mess up man like in here and you can uh, see man how it works for you but remember the colors of the weapons are going to be different this is just an example all right so now I'm going to save up this now you're gonna the weapons model viewer now we're going to export it and uh, this is how it looks like when you have done it with a uh, hue and a saturation option does not look that bad but uh, that's how the weapons color it is man so yeah there is one last thing i want to uh, show you but uh, you need to work up with this as well so let's go now we have re-added the bmp again in here but we want to add like anything to a part of the weapon which can show actually on this you know side of the weapon like logo or um oh no anything man anything that you want now i'm gonna be right back when i select that photo you know what i'm saying i'm back man i've selected the discord icon for some reason like i don't even know man i just went up with it because why not so now make sure you have copied it now you go on here make sure you click canvas size but uh we're going to short up the texture you know what i'm saying because it's way too big now i'm going to place it up somewhere here to see where in, where in the uh, actual place of the weapon this is going to appear you know what i'm saying for example i'm going to place it up here and finally Place this one now as you can see the discord logo appeared here but you can work on it to add it like over here over here or i don't even know man how you how like what place you want or something all right so that was it man this is all of the ways i know how to customize models in general so if you if you enjoyed this video man uh, make sure you watch some previous ones as well so see you on another cs 1.6 video man peace <laughs>